Catholic Dad here. The topic of my video today is one which I have been thinking about more and more over the past decade, really. When I first began to seriously look around at the world which we are living in, and even a decade or more ago, I, having had my perspective changed, and being informed by my faith, could see two principles at work, and they are the topic of this video. The Eternal World Order and the Novus Ordo Seclorum, or the New Order of the Ages, or New World Order, as the Latin word seclorum comes from secula, which is where we get the English word secular, which is worldly and humanistic. So if the Novus Ordo Seclorum is a new worldly and humanistic order of the ages, then the eternal world order is the order of God established from all eternity. I will here compare and even identify these opposing forces or principles with these or with those terms used by Saint Augustine in his work The City of God and City of Man. So as not to have an extremely long video, I will simply address the core principles that are the motivating principles of these opposite forces. The eternal world order, as I have coined it, has as its motivation the words of Christ in the Gospel. These things I command you, that you love one another. John 15, 17. Caritas, or charity, or simply put, love. Love of God above all else, and our neighbor for God's sake. The driving impulse of the Novus Ordo Seclorum, the worldly, humanistic, and atheistic force at work in our society, slowly and incrementally advancing its agenda over the past few centuries, especially, is the non servium, I will not serve, and what St. Augustine called the libido dominandi, which roughly translates to the lust for domination. It isn't hard to see, especially with everything that is taking place around us, the trajectory we are on as a society. I may do more on this topic in a future video. I do want to keep this video short, so I'm not going to go into much more detail right now, other than to say that this is something that I have thought about and contemplated, like I said, over the last decade or more. Um, and I don't know if I've addressed this in any other videos uh, about my personal past or history or whatever, what education level I have, and things like that, I don't typically talk about that unless it's relevant to the discussion, but, you know, I have got a degree in philosophy, so um, I have studied a lot of philosophical positions, um, this study of philosophy was in a seminary setting, so I did have some theolo theological studies as well. Um, along with that philosophy study, and this has helped to inform uh, my thinking and perspective as well. But over a decade or more ago, uh, didn't have that level of education, just my own reading and my own study, self-study at that time, I could see what was going on even at that time, you know, as far back as, you know, 2007, 2008, um, could see more clearly, um, things that I hadn't noticed in years previous to that or when I was in high school and things like that, politics and things of that nature really didn't, I didn't think about, you know, it was just what was happening at the, at the moment, but as I got older and started looking around me more and paying attention to what was happening and how things affected me personally, um, and then again, too, when I became serious about my faith and allowed my faith to inform me, to inform my mind and my perspective and how I seen things, I really started to come to notice this more clearly. So, like I said, uh, something more that I will go into, uh, I think, in, in another video down the line somewhere when I have time. Um, and 
uh, if there's any demand for it or whatever. But it is something I wanted to put out there and have a, a video on today because it's been something that's been um, on my mind here lately and something that I felt that it would make uh, good to get out there on a video, I think. And if you if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to comment, go ahead and comment. But as I said in the previous video, although Facebook, or not Facebook, excuse me, YouTube does give you a general guideline on about comments and, and their community standards, etc. Um, my only thing is, you know, you can comment and comment what you want, but follow the rules of good decorum and... I will not tolerate any um, inappropriate links being posted in my comment section. I will report them, and your comment will be deleted, and you may well find yourself blocked from my channel as well. Other than that, comment all you want if you want to. Like I said, like if you like the video, thumb down if you don't like it, and uh, if you want, subscribe, and I may likely have more content out as time goes by. Until next time, just a Catholic dad here. Have a good day. God bless.